cool, cool. That sounds sick. Well, he want to take the lead out right there. So it's just like, mm. hey, what's up, guys? So we're about to start cooking up. Um, I'm about to just go into um, let's see, go into my sounds. I'm gonna go into my one shot uh folder. I'm gonna find a cool one shot to start with. What the hell did I just do? Okay, yeah, let me do that one time. That's nice. Right, I messed up that third chord right here. I'm just going to replace this chord right here because I kind of messed it up. Um, so I'm going to delete this one and just drag this one over so it's consistent. I'm going to drag this out. We're going to... That's hard, that's hard. I like that, I like that. So we're gonna keep that. Um we're gonna copy this over uh so it goes for eight bars. Studio does that thing where like when you're recording like so watch this knob right here if I move it down and I play it like keeps going up in volume because automated I hate when it does that freaking I wish I knew a way how to freaking fix that um I think I just fixed it nah bro I hate when the FL does that I gotta switch up a fix for that Thank you. 
I'm just gonna quantize real quick. I usually don't quantize stuff all that much. But I'm gonna quantize this one a little bit just because it's like the type of beat this is. Um, because I know what type of drums I'm gonna do on this. It's gonna be more like kind of like trap drums. So they're gonna be more, more like on beat type drums. So I definitely wanna make sure like, you know, everything's like on beat and everything like flows nicely. <laughs> Just like duplicate that over because I, I think I played like pretty similar take over there. I think lastly, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. that lead for something else but um let me make sure everything's still recording okay all right cool i just wanted to make sure everything was recording all right so now i'm just gonna open up a string and contact uh, i think it's gonna be the last m melodic sound i add and then from here out i'm just gonna do drums but um all right yeah i think i just need like a one note string low key hold on like a uh, He might take this one down like yeah i think that's it right there so how should we bring this up a key hey that's hard i might switch it back to the other key but for now drums um so I, i'm gonna be using um my newest kit da vinci kit volume 5 in this beat if you guys are interested link in bio it's super fire i love the kit so much definitely check it out guys um before i do that there's one snare that i want to use in this beat that i don't have in my kit um where is the kit at in the big head kit okay yeah there's this one snare that i don't have in the kit but i'm just gonna take it from this kit real quick where is it at oh yeah oh yeah this snare okay all right, cool, cool. Yeah, so I'm gonna take that snare. Um, let's see. I'm gonna take this clap from my kit. Um, let's see. All right, yeah, I'm just gonna do some drums.
like a kind of like a crazy snare in here. Um. <laughs> separate pattern for the drums right here um so you can like kind of have it a little bit more organized um all right so i'm just gonna put the drums in here and i'm gonna take the pattern when we did with the melody i'm gonna split that up and we're gonna put it we're gonna do a quick little arrangement for it dude i hate when fl studio does this automation stuff like you guys see how there's like that kind of like faded like gray right there i hate when fl does that it's honestly because like I don't really know, man. I, I gotta figure out how to delete that because I hate when FL does that. It's so annoying. All right, so I think first we're just gonna have it like. take the freaking bass notes from the chord progression right here and I'm just gonna copy it over to the A-way pattern um, and I'm just gonna kind of finesse these a little bit <laughs> Try seeing what a key change would sound like. Fast. 
faster, where it's like fade away should look more like bouncier. Hold on, let me see. Okay, this could be like an intro if I take the piano part and I cut out the drums. I could probably do like uh, contact is weird sometimes. So hold on, let me duplicate this. I'm gonna do like a cool little piano run in the intro. Um, let's see. All right, so we got a different piano here. All right, so check this out, man. We got we gotta try something different. Let me see if it's recording. Okay. Okay, cool, cool. That sounds sick. Well, if you want to take the lead out right there, so it's just like... Yeah, okay. That's hard. You can even have the string in here, probably. Yeah, just to like, kind of add like that, like... Sounds one sec, guys. I'll play it real quick. 